Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare, sometimes self-care, and today we're talking this or that skincare. I've got two really great skincare battles for you. First off, the battle of the heart leaf toners between Anua and Manyo. And then we're going to move over to oil serums between Versed and Iunique. So if you're so ready to find out this or that, give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump right in. So let's kick it off with our heart leaf toner battle between a new heart leaf 77% soothing toner versus the manual R vegan heart leaf Sika toner. Let's start with the Anua toner first. This contains 77% of heart leaf extract, also known as Hutania cordata extract. Now this is such an amazing ingredient that has a whole host of benefits, including antibacterial, anti-inflammation, and antioxidant benefits. It also has a high content of polysaccharides, which help to really hydrate the skin and help the skin hold on to hydration. Now, this ingredient is also really well known for its soothing benefits, quite close to Sika or mugwort. It's really amazing for calming down inflammation, irritation on the skin, and it can also help with eczema and psoriasis prone skin as well. Not only is this ingredient amazing for soothing, irritated, or sensitive skin, it's also an amazing ingredient for acne prone skin too. With the anti-inflammatory and soothing benefits, it can really help to calm and soothe breakouts. And it also has that antibacterial benefit as well, all without stripping the skin of any hydration. Now, other notable ingredients in the Anua toner include betaine. We have panthenol as well as glycerin to really help hydrate the skin. Now, it also includes sugarcane extract and apple extract. Now, this is important because these ingredients actually give mild AHA-like benefits to the skin. They are incredibly gentle. This is not full-on chemical exfoliation, but what they do is gently help to exfoliate uh, dead skin cells away from the top surface of the skin, helping to uh, smooth out the skin, helping with texture, pimples, all in a really gentle manner. So the texture of this toner, it doesn't have any body or thickness. It is truly a watery, thin type of toner that just absorbs in the skin so beautifully without any like stickiness, without any thickness. Some toners, when you put it on once, it feels good, but when you put it on twice, it starts to feel a little thick on top of your skin. This isn't like that. This is definitely a very watery, traditional textured toner that you can layer up as many times as you want without any stickiness or greasiness at the top of your skin. Now let's talk about the Manuel Heartleaf Sika toner. We do have Hutania Cordata extract in here, which they have a um, married with centella. Now, as I mentioned, you know, the soothing benefits of heart leaf can be quite similar to centella. It helps to reduce inflammation. Uh, it helps to uh, reduce bacteria on the skin. It has that soothing, like anti-irritation effect on the skin. So it's a really nice match up with centella to really kind of oomph up the, the soothing benefits of this, as well as some of the anti-acne benefits of this toner. Now, the texture is quite similar to Anua. This is definitely that traditional watery, layerable type of toner. There's no body here. There's no moisture to this. There's no balance. It really is just a watery, light, thin type of toner that could be layered up many times on the skin without building up any stickiness. So this or that. And my winner in this battle is the Anua toner. Yes. You know, there's really two main reasons why I think that this is the slightly more superior heart leaf toner in this battle. And it really comes down to ingredients here. And it's not because of this has a higher percentage of heart leaf in it. It's because they have married the heart leaf with some real superstar supportive ingredients. Now, heart leaf is an ingredient that I have loved for many, many years, and I've used in many different forms. Um, and I have to say throughout all the experimentation that I've done, I have found this ingredient to be really that secret sauce ingredient that helps to uh, very gently uh, soothe acne on my skin. But I have found that the ingredient like, uh, oh, like a 100% heart leaf product with no other supportive ingredients 
I actually don't find those as impressive as when you marry Heartleaf with another supportive ingredient. It is such a team player and it actually gets lifted up in the benefits when you pair it with the right types of ingredients. And so for me personally, the Anua toner, when they've married that Heartleaf, that high amount of Heartleaf with the sugar cane and the apple extract, that just took it the extra mile for me. It was really impressive how quickly this could help soothe breakouts on the skin. Um, I recently went through about of um, extra texture and some um, pimples on my skin because uh, I've been going from um, like my my more traditional combo to like slightly more oily skin for summertime and when that oil gets out of balance my pores can definitely get clogged up um, but I have very sensitive skin and I am prone to dehydration and dryness so it's like I can't just go in hard with heavy exfoliants. Heartleaf is one of those ingredients that I've relied on for a long time to help gently soothe um, and help to fade away acne and breakouts and even help with texture on my skin. That little bit of exfoliating, incredibly mild exfoliating benefit from the sugar cane and the apple extract, wow. The very, I could not believe this. The very first time I used this toner, my skin looked smoother the next day. And it, it definitely was like calmer as well because when I break out, I can get quite red, I can get quite inflamed. It really helped to reduce the inflammation. If you're gonna use Hartley for your acne purposes, I definitely think Anua has just nailed that formula so, so well. Another reason that I named Anua the winner of this battle against Manio is because I just find it more hydrating. And that's really, you know, when it comes to toners, I want Want a lot of hydration on my skin. I'm incredibly picky. I am prone to so much dehydration that my like level for what I call a hydrating toner can be quite high. And Manyo just doesn't meet that. Uh, remember the ingredients list here. There really weren't a lot of humectants on the ingredients list in comparison to Anua, which had panthenol and betaine plus glycerin. These are amazing humectants that really dive deeper into the skin. Manyo um, is a lot thinner on humectants. It just doesn't have as much of that punch of hydration. And so if you're looking for a really hydrating toner, while I find both of these um, on the thinner side, like there's definitely more hydrating toners out there. If you're really dehydrated, I don't know if either one of these is quite going to, to live up to that for you. But between the two, I think Anua is offering a much more hydrating experience, something that dives just slightly deeper into the skin that feels a little bit more replenished replenishing. And like I said, my skin's getting a little bit more oily so I can get away with slightly less hydration, but I still need a good amount of replenishment. And I felt like Anua was really up to, to that task where Manuel just really isn't. So Manuel is a lovely product, but in comparison, Anua definitely just hits, hits all those marks so, so well. So now let's jump into our oil serum battle between Versed Sunday Morning Antioxidant Oil Serum versus the iUnique Noni Light Oil Serum. So let's start with Versed. This is a product that is bringing oil nourishment to the skin packed with antioxidant protection. So they're using three different oils, including Camellia, Jojoba, and Moringa seed oils. And then there's quite a few different extracts that are bringing the antioxidant power along with the oils, but some notable Notable antioxidants in here include sea buckthorn extract as well as turmeric extract. Now this is a really fun and beautiful like skin entertainment type of product because this is a biphase serum. We have the oil layer and the water layer of this serum separated. So it's really fun just to look at the two layers. We've got like a yellow and then like a deeper orange kind of a layer that's so, so beautiful, looks like a sunset. Um, but it's so fun to mix these together before you apply to get that water and oil to mix together. So there's a little bit of a fun um, and beauty, I think, to this product that I just like to point out, I think it's um, a really nice, a really nice effect. So you mix this together and then you apply it to the skin and it's so mind boggling that this is an oil serum, right? Because you know there's a there's a content of oil in here, but it's actually so watery, it's so thin. Um, it's incredibly runny and you're just like, wait, what? I thought I was applying an oil to my skin. But once you start to work this into your skin, you will feel as it's absorbing, there is an oil richness to it. It's just a lot lighter, but that nourishment is present. It feels really comforting on the skin, but it doesn't have weight. 
That's what's so like confusing at first when you first try it. You're like, whoa, this is not what I expected at all. There's no weight to this. You know how like if you're just applying straight oil, there's always some type of weight. If it's a little bit lighter weight, it's more medium weight or heavy. There's always something. There's a little heft to it. It kind of fills your pores. This doesn't fill your pores, but you do feel the nourishment, you do feel the richness. It's just really light and watery. So a nice amount of hydration in here, a really thin wearing serum. So nothing that's gonna weigh your skin down. I think really appropriate for hot weather too, cause it's just not like really sitting heavy on the skin. So, so lightweight while still bringing moisture to the skin. And surprisingly, it doesn't have a shininess or a finish on the skin at all. It just absorbs in uh, really nicely without a, a finish at the top. And it leaves your skin feeling really soft at the surface too. Now let's talk about the iUnique Noni Serum because this is actually featuring an oil blend that has nine different oils in it, including rosehip, macadamia, coconut, jojoba, sunflower, canola, olive oil, meadow foam seed oil, and argan oil. So many oils. But what's really surprising about this is how they've blended those oils into this emulsion serum type of texture. Uh, once you get this onto your skin, you're going to see that it looks kind of creamy and you're like, whoa, is this going to be really heavy on my skin? As you work it into your skin though, you're going to feel like some hydration to this and then you're going to feel that balancing moisture. But surprisingly, for having so many different types of oils, they've really balanced it out in a way where it feels comforting and nourishing and balancing, but it doesn't actually have that straight up oil richness to it. It doesn't have that oil slip. It's, um, you know, the distinction here, I'm trying to make this very clear. It doesn't really feel like oil on the skin where Versed feels like a watery oil. This doesn't feel like oil. It just feels like creamy nourishment in a kind of like a lighter hydrating, creamy layer on the skin. It has really nice absorption. And again, we're not getting something that is going to sit on top of your skin and create like a greasy or shiny layer at the top surface. This absorbs in really nicely, kind of plumps your skin a little bit um, and does the moisturization inside. And it's definitely something that you'll feel comfortable putting other skincare on top of because it's not um, sitting heavy on your skin or, or weighing it down or having like a greasy type of feel at the top of your skin. So this or that, I think both of these products are really great. And I think they both really deliver on the claim of offering benefits like oil to the skin without any of the drawbacks. Um, but I think that the decision is gonna really come down to what you're seeking for in your oil serum type of product. Because Versed, you know, this is a really nice um, type of product that is offering some antioxidant benefit to the skin. And it definitely is offering some nice, really light nourishment to the skin. And this really reminds me of like um, an oil product that has serum like benefits. You know, because the oil component of this is a lot more forward when you're using this. You feel it a lot more in your skin. You feel that nourishment. Even though it's light and watery and not heavy, you're getting that rich feeling. And that's really what I expect when I'm, when I'm seeking for an oil forward type of product. When I want facial oil, I want that richness. I seek for that oil feel in my products. This really delivers, but it's just delivering in such a light manner. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I think that this is going to be really appropriate if you like facial oil but it's like it's just too heavy in like hot weather this could be a good replacement for a summertime oil but I also think that this could be a good addition to anybody who likes just a, a light richness in their routine without a heavy feeling on the skin I think even oily folks who want a little nourishment maybe like a nighttime type of serum I think you'll still like this because it is I just cannot emphasize how watery and thin and light it wears on the skin so really think about that a oil with serum like benefits. That's going to be the one for you, this Versed Serum. Now the Eye Unique Serum, this does have a lot more oils in it. And this actually does also have antioxidant capabilities, not just from the oils that they're using, but from the Noni Fruit Extract. I forgot to mention that. Noni Fruit Extract in here, as well as Licorice Extract, are offering the antioxidant benefits. So the benefits um, and the point of view of these serums are quite similar. But where Versed was a very oil-forward, oil oil serum. The iUnique is more of a serum-like product with oil benefits. 
because the texture does not have that oil feel or that richness to it. Yes, it's moisturizing and nourishing, but it doesn't feel like an oil. They've really done some type of magic with the formulation here where the oil content has been um, blended in this emulsion that really takes away a lot of that richness. Um, and it really just it brings in the balance and the emolliency without a greasy type of feel or like that, that slippery type of feel that you get from oil. So if you're somebody who's looking for a serum that just kind of kicks it up on moisture, that has some of the benefits of oils, like, you know, rosehip is in here. That's an amazing antioxidant for the skin. It can help to brighten your complexion a little bit too. Argan oil, jojoba oil, sunflower seed oil. These all have amazing fatty acids that are great for your skin barrier. And then of course, you know, the noni fruit extract and the licorice root, we've got great antioxidants. So if you're looking for a serum that can do that, but like I said, kicks up the moisture, a serum with oil-like benefits, I think the Eye Unique is gonna be the better choice for you. So between the two, like I said, they're both amazing, but they both have a, a different point of view of what it means to be an oil-based serum. So I hope you enjoyed that episode of This or That, and I'm curious if there is a product battle you're interested in seeing in the next episode. Let me know in the comments below. Now, if you watch this whole video all the way to the end, but you haven't subscribe yet, please. I'd be so honored if you would hit subscribe, especially if this video helped you out or if you just enjoyed it. I do release a lot of new skincare videos throughout the week. I do long form videos and I do shorts too. So definitely consider turning on notifications so you're never out of the loop. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe wherever you are in the world. Thanks for making 27 episodes of This or That possible and more to come in the future. I love you so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.